The Edge Tools for VS Code extension brings your browser developer tools directly into the editor. Let's take a look and see what you can do using it. So here I've already installed the extension and we're gonna be using a Create React App project here. And I've already started it running on localhost 3000. Now over in the activity bar, you can see that there's a new icon that's shown up and that is the Microsoft Edge Tools icon. So that was added by the extension. When I click on this, it's providing some instructions. So the way this extension works, it launches a special instance of Edge that the developer tools inside VS Code that can then connect to. So I'm gonna say launch instance here. This is just gonna launch a standard browser instance and I'm gonna close this little pop-up and it's again providing some instructions here. In this case, I'm just gonna go to localhost 3000 because that is where my app is running. Uh, and you can see that we have our Create React App app now running here. Now, what's cool is if I go back to VS Code, you can see that the Edge Dev tools have opened in this uh, view over to the side. And I'm gonna make this full screen so we have a little bit more detail here. And we can see that this is pretty much just like your normal browser developer tool. So right now I'm inspecting elements and I'm actually gonna make VS Code a little bit more narrow here so we can see kind of what's going on. Because if I actually go and start inspecting the elements here, you can see that pretty much like with the normal browser developer tools, I can go and inspect things and it is highlighting them over to the side in my actual browser instance. So as I go into the header, for example, you can see how it's highlighting just the header element. And then if we look down at the styles, you can actually see how the styles are being computed as well. So I can just go in here and again, look at all the different styles that are being computed. I can even go in and start changing things. So let's go and make the background color of this like Rebecca purple or something like that. You can see I even had IntelliSense for uh, going and filling in the CSS. It's an experience very much like your normal browser developer tools. Now, one cool thing is that because this is integrated into the editor, you can see over here, it's telling me where the CSS is coming from. In this case, I can just click on this link and it'll go and open that file directly. And you can see it's even moved the cursor down to line 16 where that CSS was coming from. So that's kind of one of the advantages of being integrated into the editor. Now you also get the uh, network tab. So we can go and inspect network requests that are being made. So again, this is pretty much like you'd have in your browser. We can go and drill into these individual requests, preview all the headers, and even go and inspect the responses. The Edge Developer Tools extension has a ton of other functionality and there's some settings that you can use to customize its behavior. So be sure to check out the documentation. This has just been a quick look though at the Edge Developer Tools extension for VS Code. Give it a try because you might find that you prefer having all of your developer tools right next to your code inside of your editor.